What's going on? Move the mouse here back again in City Skylines, this time revisiting the town of Springdale. And uh, we're continuing to uh, to drop some campuses into our console cities now that Campus DLC is out. My second oldest city in terms of in-game years is uh, Springdale. And uh, by the time I'm finished recording uh, these three episodes this week, it'll probably be my oldest. We're at uh, 2049. I believe Wood Garden was at 2050. Um, or somewhere around there. So we'll probably catch it. But this was my season four Let's Play. Uh, I started a brand new city with the intention of building a central park. And this was timed for the release of Park Life. And I actually did a video or a series of videos for the City Skylines official channel on YouTube. But now what we need to do is we need to figure out a spot for <laughs> uh, a university. And this was a cool idea, but it really just doesn't fit this uh the european style buildings in the middle of nowhere I, i've kind of got the, the little italy up here that's kind of serving that purpose so i think we could i think we could knock this out in fact let's do that because it's got decent road access and uh and it's kind of sitting in the middle of a nice residential area so let's go look at a couple things first of all where do we have universities right now uh we've got kangamoo u up here forgot about that and then we've got another university down here and are those the only two in the city maybe we redo the Kangamoo U campus maybe we, we reclaim this area of the map um, but I think I don't know I think this is this is a decent amount of space but maybe not enough we could move the stadium out because we have the other uh, the other sports varsity sports things that we can drop in. Let's do this. We'll we'll take out. Mm, I'm torn. Let me see what do we got for a road layout over here. Uh, it's about the same amount of space, but we don't need Kangamoo U if we take if we add the other university and provide that coverage for the city. And this is certainly more centrally located. So let's do that. We'll we'll disable this for now. Uh, we had three university buildings up here. So we're on pause. We'll turn these off for now. And then this one, we want to disable the university boost. And then where was that third? Or I should say fourth, right? We had three at... Kangaroo U. It's over here somewhere. Well, I'm not seeing it now. Okay, back into universities. Where was it? Oh, it's over on this side. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. And we'll try and provide a campus that gives us coverage for the entire city. Um, and let's take out... All these neighborhoods got a little, a little crazy on the roads. So let's bulldoze the road network. And then that will take care of most of our zoning here. All these people are happy about uh, roads being taken out. They're not going to be so happy when they realize that their buildings aren't allowed to be there. Because they're not zoned anymore. We'll take out all these cross streets. I'll demo whatever buildings are left. And uh, bear with me. We'll be right back and we'll start dropping in. A university into Springdale. Be right back. All right, so we've got an area cleared out now. We've lost a little over 10,000 people. We were hovering right around 210,000 when I started recording today. Uh, this is my biggest city on console, and uh, hopefully we'll get it back up to uh, to where it was. But, uh, but this gives us a good spot and good space to work with for our next university campus. So in Wood Garden, we dropped in a main university. And one of the reasons that we did that was the, uh, the School of Science. And that helped us uh, with a benefit to specialized industries, reducing pollution and electricity consumption. So we're going to do something a little bit different. We're either going to do a liberal arts or a trade school. But let's take a look at the school bonuses. So School of Engineering... Uh, increasing generic zoned industry while reducing water consumption and sewage outlet. Uh, this increases attractiveness to entertainment of leisure buildings. 
So I'm pretty sure the tourism and travel is what we're going to do because that's what this city was all about. Uh, jail capacity, police department efficiency. Let's take a quick look at the liberal arts. Uh, School of Economics helps office zones increase revenue. That could be good too. Negative effects of consumer culture, reducing garbage accumulation. Classrooms have higher student capacity and helps them educate more efficiently. So I think we're going to go with the trade school because generic zoned industry, we have some. And School of Tourism and Travel, I think, would be really good. So let's come in here with a very basic network. I think at some point we'll we'll delete these after the fact. But I want to do a very basic road network through the center here. Let's do a four lane road with some trees coming in about the halfway point. Right about there maybe. And we'll have this go all the way through. And then maybe coming off of that we can do a little a little one way loop. So we'll do that. We'll come into the second node over here and do the same thing. We'll reverse these directions after. But this will kind of direct traffic through the zone a little bit. So we'll change our directions on that. And this can really be kind of our, our central area of focus where the bulk of the campus buildings will be. And then we'll have a bunch of stuff spinning up off the side of it. So let's come in here before I forget. And we will stop traffic on the side streets. Let everything else flow through. Break out our campus tool. I realize we've got a high school in the campus. We'll probably want to move that. And then back into our, it was the liberal arts, right? I already forgot. It's the tourism one. Environmental studies. Was it the trade school? It was a trade school. Okay. Oh, God, double check that. <laughs> okay, so we'll put the main administration building kind of central to this, this square. And let's see, does that almost center? Not quite one off. It's okay. That works. So we'll do that. And then I thought maybe we could use some footpaths. Long one. We'll do some footpaths off of here. Maybe just a little bit off. And we'll have that connect. Can we delete this high school? Let's get that high school out of there. Let's see how this connects. Almost perfect up to that corner. Kind of like that. We'll pause since we have no uh, college education in the uh, city that's possible right now. We'll connect some of these up so that people have some different paths to get around. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to bring this all the way straight back, connecting up over there. Uh, yeah, I connected that one. Like a little bit of symmetry. So let's get going with a uh, little dormitory area. Where should we do these? Maybe kind of off to the side here. Let's let's carve out a couple more footpaths, I guess. To give people some ways to get around the city on foot. I thought that was going to connect. Uh, try that again. There we go. That'll connect. And then why don't we do a little dorm block here. So hopefully we can get two next to one another. So 
So that's enough to get us started, but we'll reserve kind of this back area over here for dorms. Maybe we could do some more footpaths off of here. Like that. So it's a little bit of a grid so far, but again, these are footpaths for the most part. Um, and these central arteries are the, the roads that will carry traffic into the area. But everywhere else people can get around on foot. Uh, I do want to dezone this before I forget. And heck, while we're at it, while we got the tool out, let's break all this zoning because we don't need zoning here. We'll do a little park or something on that side of the campus. What didn't de So We've got a ton of commercial demand, but everything else is pretty well balanced out. Back into our universities, and let's see what we can drop in. So we don't need any more dorm coverage right now. We'll do a study hall. Maybe we can put that over here for the, uh, the students. They've got a little place to get away from the dorms if they want a different spot to study. We'll throw a groundskeeping office, and this one we can kind of tuck away in one of these little nooks that we've built here. That could work. Can we squeeze a book club in there too? Ooh, we could do that. There's not quite enough space on that side, but we could do this without overriding any of the roads. Let's see what we think of that. Just to use that space up. Fill it in with a little something. And that's it for right now. So that's all that we've we've unlocked by default. So we'll jump into our college info, or what is it technically? Campus info. Um, academic works. Now you get different types of works because it's a different type of school. So I like IT and engineering. So let's give them a grant and let's crank up the budget for academic staff. And what we will do, uh, well, we will power it. It doesn't need to be watered. It should have been watered already because there were, there were houses here. Uh, and just to give it kind of that, that proper, I think, look and feel and coverage, Let's see what a police department would do in here. Looks like we're covered pretty well, but is this the small one? That's the small one. We'll do a little campus police station kind of on the corner here. Campus firehouse right next to it. I'll get power over here to the central building. And then we're going to let it play on three times speed for a little while and see. Let's see if that passes power. I think that it will. Hit play. It looks like it, that that circle is touching the bubble. It is okay. So these are not powered as of right now. Let's do that. And everything else is getting power. It seems okay. So let's let it run on three times speed. We'll get to at least level two this episode, and. Uh, and yeah, we'll see where we go from there. We'll unlock some new buildings. We'll double check our uh, education levels as things start to settle in. At first, we're not going to have many students. Uh, let's get rid of these buildings just so that we don't have to see those electricity pop-ups. So we're not going to have many students at first because our population was well-educated to begin with. Everybody's pretty well covered. Fires, of course. Not well educated over here. As you can see, there's not good green coverage on the roads. I've got something that's disconnected over here from the paths. And a bit of a death wave happening, so. All interesting developments. But we'll keep an eye on this. Let me run it at three times speed, and uh, we'll be back at the end of the first academic year when we will hopefully have some more students. Uh, campus attractiveness is pretty good. We haven't created academic works yet. That'll happen at the end of the year. Let's get a couple more buildings in just to help with the attractiveness. Let's see here. Uh, 
Let's see if we can get this just right where we have room for another set of dormitories behind here. Looks like I did a little bit extra, but that's okay. A little extra is better than not enough. So we'll do that, and that should give us a little bump in campus attractiveness. Yeah. Good. Okay, so we're over attractiveness. We just need 500 students, which it is climbing up really well. Uh, we have a possible capacity of 1,650, so more than enough if we can just get the people coming in. And then by the end of the year, hopefully we'll have one academic work. Maybe we get lucky and get two. Um, but we shall see. So uh, sit tight, hang back for a minute, and uh, I'm going to let it run on three times speed. I think I said that twice already, but I'm actually going to do it this time and, uh, and see where we get to at the end of the year. All right, so there we go. One academic year down at Springdale University, now Kangamoo U. Um, we've unlocked a couple things, so we'll drop those in before we end for today. Uh, academic works created three. That's excellent. Product chains, chirp team racing, travel far away gate. Huh. Uh, rapid travel between two distant locations. Yes, please. I'm glad they're working on that. Uh, soapbox car. Gravity racer is ready to be tested in a derby. Uh, so I had to do a couple things. We. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause. We have a ton more people in this city than we did in Wood Garden, the last build that I did last week. And I had to add a few, uh, just a few dormitories. <laughs> um, and we're actually already out of space. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, capacity wise, we're hovering right at the max. 43, 47 of 43, 50. Um, let's drop in a couple buildings first because I think I want to say some of those affect the uh, student capacity. I could be wrong though. Uh, we already dropped in a study hall and a groundskeeping and a book club. So we'll do an outdoor study hall kind of centered on the main university building here. We could kind of center it on the block, I guess. Do something like that. So outdoor study hall. We've got a gymnasium. We'll throw that over here on the footpaths. The cafeteria. We'll get this over by the uh, the dormitories, I guess. Actually, you know what? I can't. So because of the way that the street bends here, I can't fit a dormitory on this um, this block. So let's use up the space with some of the smaller buildings, like a cafeteria. There's a trade school fountain. Oh, we can't quite get that in there. We can get it across the street, though. Let's do something like that for now. Uh, library, we'll drop this in. This could kind of go off our central, uh, our central hub, our central quad, if you will. IT club, I think, yeah, it's a smaller building. So again, we'll throw this down over here, make some use of this space that we otherwise couldn't. A little lumpy, that's okay, it happens. Uh, commencement office, sure. An academic statue, where can we get this one in? Can we get this in one of these? No, we can't get it there. That would be too easy. Okay, so the rest of these buildings are locked, but we did unlock Oh, we unlocked two of the, the schools. So the Police Academy and the School of Tourism and Travel. So Police Academy has studying cadets, uh, work with police officers, keep an eye on the jail cell occupants, increasing patrol car count, jail capacity, and police department efficiency. Also increases our attractiveness. Must be in the area. So let's see where we can get these things. These things are beasts. So we'll go all the way up here far up as we can and we should be able to delete the power lines now because that should spread power no problem and then the other one that we unlocked is the school of tourism and travel interns bring out the best of the city attractions and shops increasing attractiveness and entertainment of leisure buildings income from all commercial zones is increased faculty uh, increases campus attractiveness requires a trade school campus area okay 
Where can we get this? Can we get this on this block? I think that we can. So the last big building we'll have to drop in will actually probably go over on this block. So let's move a couple things around. Let's see what we can do here. Before we quit for today, we'll move the fountain over here into this corner. Can we move this study hall? No, we'll leave that. I want to move these buildings here. So what is this one? The library? Oh, so close. Well, we can do that. And then will this one fit over here in this nook? It will. So using the space the best that we can, we can probably get another dormitory there. Maybe some on the outside. We'll connect some more paths and do some in here. We've got one more big school to drop in. Uh, before I forget, we're not playing, but that's okay. Before I forget, though, we'll go into here. Um, oh, we jumped two levels. That's awesome. We have enough students to hit the next level. More than enough. Um, and we have enough attractiveness, so we just need academic works. So we'll come over here, and we will give... I guess some hospitality might help our uh, commercial and tourism a little bit. So how many did we get out of that first year? We created four academic works, so maybe we can get another four this year if we're lucky. And that will um, potentially get us up to the last level, though I don't think we'll hit the attractiveness. I'm guessing we're not that far above on attractiveness, are we? No, we're not. So we'll have to drop in some more buildings. Uh, we'll cram in some more dorms. Let's see if that'll fit right there. Can't get two, so. We'll go there with one. Come down over here maybe with another. And another on this street. Just to really pack them in and get our... Um, get our capacity way up there. But that is a pretty good spot for today. I hope you enjoyed. We'll be continuing this build, cramming in university into our downtown area. I did take out the old Kangamoo U and zoned some of the uh, areas that we had demand for, but it's all creeping and climbing back up. We're at 197,000. We've definitely got some problems to deal with in the city, like some death waves that are happening. Uh, let's do a quick trick here. We'll collapse that cemetery. Drop a new one in. Make everybody happy again. But we've got some, yeah, some death waves, some abandonment happening. Um, so this, where is, there it is. This build though, right now that we're working on this week is all about the campus. Um, we've got so many people in this city that I just hit the capacity so fast, so. Um, we'll let this keep building up. I'll let it play uh, offline. We'll drop in the level three or maybe even the level four stuff. Um, if we're able to get all that done in one hop. So we skipped we skipped two levels here. We went from basically from levels one to level three. If we happen to get the next two um, all at once, that's fantastic. Um, if not, we'll cover what we can on Wednesday and finish off on Friday. If we happen to get everything in on Wednesday, we'll see what can, we can do the next episode. Um, then at that point, maybe we can do a little bit of cleanup around the city and maybe start to plan some stuff for a future revisit to Springdale. But hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Tune in Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new episodes of Campus this week and next before we'll make a return to Portsmouth. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. But until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.